Hello, it is Diane with Diane's Blue Hearts and Butterflies.com. And for my December class, I wanted to showcase the um, Peaceful Deer as well as uh, another stamp set. So I'm going to start with this card. It's a very kind of simple layers card to um, make. It is using some. Um, retired designer series paper that was in the celebration for August, September of 2021, but I'm just trying to use up the paper that I have. So uh, let me go through the supplies that you'll need. Also, if you will check out my blog at Diane's Blue Hearts and Butterflies.com, I have the measurements and dimensions over there as well. So <clears throat> what you will need is this one is, um, Real Red cardstock. Um, no, it's not. This one is cherry colored. The other card is real red. So cherry cobbler, uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter along the landscape side. I also have a piece of basic black cardstock, which is five and a quarter by four. I have a piece of um, basic white cardstock to go on the inside. It's the same measurement, five and a quarter by four. The designer series paper is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. I um, cut out a two inch circle, or actually used uh, a retired punch, but you could use the circle dies or whatever you have. Um, I. Uh, punch that out and then I also punched a an everyday label from the basic white cardstock I have a scrap of crumb cardstock to stamp and uh, punch out the deer from and then I have a half inch by three and three quarter inch strip of basic black and I'm gonna go over how to do those um, let me go ahead and kind of go through the products uh, other products that I did use the peaceful deer bundle which is in the hollow uh, sorry the July to December 2021 mini catalog that is on the retiring list however these two will be carrying over um, as not bundled so if you want to save the 10% you will need to get that before um, January 3rd so we're going to be using that stamp set and these three well I used these three punches so some other things that I used was the cherry cobbler cardstock the Ev evening evergreen um, cardstock I mean ink pad, the Evening Evergreen, and the Crumb Cake ink pad, as well as the uh, Memento Tuxedo Black um, ink pad. So those are the colors that I used. And just for saving time, I did go ahead and prepare a bunch of these. The, like I said, that scrap Crumb Cake cardstock, I did stamp the deer in the memento tuxedo black and uh, another person at our class actually used the crumb cake which also looked good and then you just line that up with your punch and punch that out on the circle the two inch circle I stamped the trees from the stamp set in the evening evergreen and then I stamped the stars and snow whatever it is in the crumb cake on that as well. If you don't want them to be so dark, you can stamp off first and then stamp on uh, to that. On the little black strip, you're just going to want to cut some diagonals that go in the same direction to um, fit behind the um, punch. I did stamp the Sending Love and Peace this season 
onto the right side of this label because when we're putting it together, we're going to put the deer so that it hangs over here. Um, I also did stamp a sentiment from a retired set that I have, but I really love the sentiment in the um, cherry cobbler to go in on the inside. So let me go ahead and assemble this. I just wanted to run through. This one is a simple basic card. I just wanted you to be able to uh, see how I put it together. The If you'd like, you could also take some of your um, strips and bits from the designer series paper and you could add some of that on there. I did layer the designer series paper onto the black layer and it has a slight border around it not very big I only did the eighth of an inch difference instead of the quarter inch and then I adhered this to the cherry cobbler and there is a little bit more border around that Kind of try to hold it up while I'm eyeballing it and then I put it here. Looks like some of my glue. I didn't catch it and push it under. I have a, an old glue eraser that I've had for a long time. Stampin' Up! used to sell these but they don't anymore. But I'm sure that you can get it from some other places just helps me to get rid of that glue. Now the circle, I did go ahead and adhere that just to, one thing I have to worry about with the um, Stamp It Seal Plus, it's very strong and it tends to grab the glue on the roller and then want to roll up inside. All right. I did adhere this kind of in the center, but up a little. And I had that just sticking straight down. Then I adhered the basic black. This time I see that I did get it over. You can always fold that underneath if it goes over the edge. Another thing that um, I keep forgetting to do is to use the silicone craft sheet and then that would stick there instead of to what else I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this kind of down towards the bottom of that and I'm just gonna glue that one straight down as well. I want to use dimensionals to stick the label on. And we'll peel those off. And then just make sure that you're adhering that to the correct side. I'm going to be over that black strip. Now, on this deer, I'm going to adhere the back end of the deer straight down onto this label, but in order to help hold this other side under the head and neck, I'm going to use some other dimensionals. I'm going to use the mini ones to put over here to hold that side, that side up. And then I will just use glue dots for that back end of the deer. Take off these backings. And then you can kind of stick this on how you want it. 
and that is just the how quick that card kind of goes together so um, I hope that you enjoyed it I check my blog out again Diane's blue hearts and butterflies dot com I uh, appreciate you watching my video and I hope that if you like the kinds of things that I am making and putting out there that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload any new videos. Um, also, if you need any of the supplies to make these things, you can shop from my uh, blog or even from my Stampin' Up! website. And there is a link on the blog to get there. So I appreciate you taking the time to visit my site. Thank you.